of this resurrected Lord. Subject matter, up from the grave, they arose. Ah, come on, Pastor. Up from the grave, they arose. Yeah, you, 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 you know who they are. By now you do, if not you will, before we're done with this. Up from the grave, they arose. No, I didn't say he. I said they. Come on, say amen. 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 Up from the grave, they arose. And, and, and what I want you to pay attention to in particular uh, are the distinct commonalities of Scripture, the variations. Oh, yes. Uh, I want you to look at the very, very, very significant similarities of both. Now, you know the Scripture. You know Mary, Martha, and Lazarus were Jesus' best friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. They were his family. Come on, say amen. When amen. He, whenever Jesus did extensive travel and he was tired, he often stopped by Mary, Martha, and Lazarus' house to rest up. Amen. Um, yeah. he, he, he stopped there and he, he, he often regrouped, gathered himself together, had dinner with them, got back on the battlefield. But I want you to see what Jesus did for the family. Come on, say amen. It, amen. Sometimes we just have to lay aside all of our differences and do something for somebody. Is that right? Amen. We just have to come up out of ourselves and do something for somebody. Jesus did something very significant for this family. And I want you to hear what Martha was saying. You know, she was uh, she was very careful not to offend Jesus. She was careful with her wordings in verse 22 of John 11 when she said, but I know Sometimes you're, you're going to be around people that just simply have to take offense. I don't care how you worry. Come on, say amen. They, yes. They're just going to take offense to what yes. you're saying. Yes, Pastor. You can walk on eggshells, and that's going to be offensive. Mm -hmm. You can be ferocious in your speaking, and that's going to be offensive. Yes, so sometimes you just have to forget about that and obey God. Amen. So Martha said, but, but, but I know, see, you, you, you know the story of, of, of Mary and Martha and Lazarus and how Jesus was uh, on the battlefield healing and teaching and preaching and he and his disciples and all of a sudden she got word that Lazarus was dead. Come on, say amen. amen. You got to go back to the first, I ain't going back to the first chapter, but you got to come on up to where I am now. I'm going to take you back there a little bit. Jesus got word that Lazarus was dead. My Lord. Mm. Amen. Amen. His best friend was dead. All right. But if you witness the scripture very carefully, Jesus did not stop what he was doing right away. Amen. Say so. There's a scripture that said, let the dead bury their dead. And even when he said that, he wasn't being offensive. Amen. Amen. He was just simply helping us to realize that our priorities have to be in place. Say so, say so. There's another Amen. commonality here that Jesus was told that Lazarus had been in the grave for four days. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself lay in the grave for three days. Amen. You see, there are some distinct commonalities here. And Jesus did something before he went to the cross. See, one minute days after this, that he himself would be crucified. Amen? Amen. Not long after this. You gotta read on down through there and you'll find that he was arrested and, and, and he was he was he was crucified and he was placed in the tomb and then he rose again. But 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 before that, before that, before that, before that, Jesus heard that his friend had died. Hmm. Oh and don't you know Jesus already knew that? Oh, yes, yes. Amen, Amen. Pastor. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. We're not the first one to say that Jesus knows everything. The Bible yeah. tells us. The Bible says that. Amen. That nothing gets by Jesus. He yep. already knew All right. that Lazarus was dead. That's right. And yet he continued on his assignment. Amen? Amen. No matter how difficult it is, Say, we have to continue oh, Jesus. our assignment. Yes, Lord. And believe me, it gets difficult sometimes. I remember I got a phone call once upon a time that there was some difficult and troubles 
in a certain area. And it was told to me that you need to hurry up and get here because I, I just don't know what's going to happen. Well, I didn't drop what I was doing. I continued to read and pray. I said, Lord, you paved the way because you already know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I know that you have me right here at your feet. Amen. And you are preparing me for whatever it may be. Amen. And when I got there, it was not near as bad as the people made it out to be. Come on, say amen. See, emotion had gotten in that way. And sometimes we have to hear the spirit. Well, let me back up. Not sometimes. We have to be careful to hear the spirit of Jesus yes, Christ so that we won't move too quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. The Bible no. said that Jesus was told that this friend had died and Mary and Martha and all the neighbors were upset because they heard that he had taken sick, amen? And, and, and from that, he, he died. From that sickness. Nobody know what it was. The Bible didn't say that. But it said he, he died from his sickness. Jesus and his disciples said, come let us go back up to Judea. And so they said, well, Jesus, do, 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 you mean that we're going to Judea when they, they, they tried to kill you? Amen. They just got too threatening you. Jesus said, are there not 12 hours in a day? That's what you said today, sister, when you were talking about the Jewish law. Oh, yes. Twelve hours in a day. Yes. Jesus said, and, 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 and listen, and he that walk in, in the darkness can't see. But 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 he that walk in the light can see where he's going. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you something else along that way. They were upset when he when, when, when he finally got there. They they said, in other words, if only you had been here. My brother would not be dead. He, he, he would not have died. And, and, and Jesus understood their maladies. He understood their emotional state that they were in. And sometimes Jesus himself, oh, I thank God for this. Listen carefully. The Holy Spirit will touch your heart and bring you into an emotional state so you can be strength to someone else Amen. who's going through. Amen. See, the mercy of Jesus showed forth that in the 35th verse when he stood there and he wept. He showed, he showed <laughs> compassion. Yes, amen. And he showed mercy on the family. Not only that, but he wept for the unbelief of yes. the people that were standing around him. Amen. <laughs> amen. Yes, they, amen. They didn't believe the power source of Jesus Christ. My Lord. And you know, Jesus loved Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. He, yes. he, 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 he loved them and he, he, he would do anything for them. So when he when he when he finally got there, he realized how emotional they were. The disciples not knowing that Lazarus was, was actually dead, but Jesus said he's sleeping. And so they said, Well, if he sleep, he do it well. Yeah. In other words, let him alone, and if he sleep, let him rest. But Jesus had to come out and say, Well, listen, he is simply dead. He, he, he's not sleeping like he's going to sleep, but right now he's dead. All but the power of Jesus. Who didn't let him stay dead. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Jesus did something where all those that were around him saw the amazement of his power. That's why Martha said, I know that even now. Whatever you ask God, God will give it to you. That's the same thing with you and me. If you, if you pray to God when you pray and you believe what you pray without doubting, the Bible said you shall have it. Amen. See, that's the same spirit that we have in our hearts today because of the resurrected Lord. Jesus said unto her, My brother shall rise again. In other words, Jesus at the same time was trying to combat their emotions 
and yet he was being realistic at the same time. So he finally came out and said, your brother's going to be all right. In other words, he's going to rise again. Amen. And so she's not understanding that. She She's thinking long term, but this is a now word. Yes, amen. That's why the Bible amen. said, when she said that even now, now whatever that's you say. Right. Amen, Pastor. Yes. Oh, she was careful of her wording, y'all. She she didn't want to offend him. She didn't want to be accusatory. She didn't want to seem uh, persuasive or dissuasive. She said, "But yeah, I, but I know that even now, whatever you would ask God, your Father, He'll give it to you." And Jesus simply said, "Your brother gonna be all right. He, he's gonna get up. He, he's gonna rise again." And so the Bible said that Martha said, "Yeah, but 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 I know He's gonna do that, but." He's going to rise again in the resurrection. See, she was thinking eternal life. Yes, she was thinking when yes, Christ came back. Yes, but she yes, didn't have no idea. Yes. Because she was overwhelmed with emotion. Yes. That she was talking to the resurrection. Ah, oh, come on now. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. she was already speaking yes, to the resurrected yes, Lord. Yes. Even right then. Yes. So she said, yeah, but I know that he shall rise again. My Lord, it is in the resurrection hmm. of the last day. Jesus simply stood there. Unabated when he said, I am the resurrection. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, yes and praise Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on, Pastor. Is the resurrection. Yes, Amen. Yes. You ought to be able to give witness to that. Yes, Lord. That was a time in your life and mine when we were dead. Yes, Lord. But something happened Jesus. down in our soul. Hallelujah. Say amen. And Hallelujah. Down we don't have to worry about uh. dying anymore. You got to change your vernacular. You got to change your terminology. Because when you are saved and sanctified and born again with the Holy Spirit of Christ, you will not die again. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad that we didn't bypass that? Oh, Jesus. Now, what you will give credence to is that you just simply will take a long sleep. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Hallelujah. You, you're going to die. You see, I'm glad you know that. That gives me consolation when I'm when I'm when I'm talking about something. I still know that whenever Christ comes back, yeah. that I just simply take a long sleep. Thank you, Jesus. Because the resurrected Christ Glory within my heart. Thank you, Lord. The Bible said that 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 I am the resurrection. Jesus said, not only that, but I am the life. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm the one that's going to bring forth this man whom. Uh, you all are so upset about. I'm going to stand and I'm going to call him forth from his dying state. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Jesus began to go on a little further in his counteracting of what Martha and Mary were talking about. Jesus went on to say that uh, whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall Never die. Then he asked the question, do you believe this? Yes. I'm here to let you know today that I ain't never believed nothing like I believe this. All right. Come on, say amen. Amen. Because the evidence is in my life. Yes, no. Lord. I can give a testimony of my own life. When I was the walking dead. Come on, say amen. 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 But on that great resurrected morning when Jesus stood tall in me, uh, glory, called glory. me from my departed, corrupt state. Called into a, yes, a life of a new life. Yes. When the resurrected Jesus stood tall in me and began to move in my life, Hallelujah. I began to come alive. Come on, say amen. 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 Sort of like those dead bones in the valley. Oh, the Ezekiel. Bible said that each bone began to come together. And the flesh became 